Did you know that Albert Einstein rejected the idea of black holes? That's right. The very scientist whose equations predicted the existence of black holes was actually skeptical about them. In the early 20th century, Einstein's general theory of relativity suggested that if a star collapsed under its own gravity, it could form a region in space so dense that not even light could escape. A black hole. But Einstein didn't believe nature would ever allow such an extreme phenomenon to occur. He thought something, perhaps a force of nature we didn't understand yet, would always prevent the formation of these cosmic monsters. Einstein, despite his own general theory of relativity suggesting the possibility of black holes, firmly believed they couldn't exist. In his 1939 paper, he presented a detailed argument against their formation. He calculated that for a black hole to form, a star would have to collapse to a point smaller than a certain critical circumference. However, Einstein argued that as an object gets smaller and more compact, the internal pressures would increase to such an extent that they would prevent further collapse. He suggested that any collection of particles would exert forces strong enough to counterbalance the pull of gravity long before reaching the state of a black hole. In his view, the internal repulsive forces within a collapsing star would always be sufficient to halt the collapse before the star could reach the Schwarzschild radius, the point of no return. Thus, Einstein concluded that black holes, as predicted by relativity, could never form under realistic physical conditions, even going as far as saying, quote, the essential result of this investigation is a clear understanding as to why the Schwarzschild singularities, aka black holes, do not exist in physical reality. To be fair, there was virtually no observational evidence for black holes at the time, so perhaps we can forgive Einstein for being wrong about that. Nevertheless, it's still nice to know that even the smartest of us can be wrong from time to time.